blocked by James. Oh, Stafford what? is like that. Stafford's top five. I'd be on the bus ride. Coop would be laughing at me. Our scouting of you guys and breaking it down. And they got this receiver, this 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 rookie, fifth round pick, slick back hair, the big smile. <laughs> Who the f is this guy? <laughs> Bro, I'm like, I'm my glorious king. I got an Uncle Dana story. Yeah. <laughs> so, oh, did, right. did you have a welcome to the NFL moment? Yes. Yeah. Speaking of BYU, what's yeah. your uh, what's your stance on soaking? Every time we see you guys, like, I gotta do you dirty. Because I loved Aaron Rodgers. <laughs> My glorious king, number 12, throw the ball so perfectly. Yeah. Just what was being around a guy who's arguably the greatest to ever do it? Football or video games? LA or Vegas? Vegas. Vegas. Yes. <laughs> Always Vegas. Future Raider, baby. <laughs> Future Raider, you heard it, America. Vegas. Yeah. <laughs> Walk up in it, like. Yeah, I'm really him. Talking my shit like Turn really him on God Walk up in his shit like Yeah, I'm really him Talking my shit like really All right, y'all, welcome back to The Rush. It's Max Crosby with my boys, Brogan Roback, Darian Terrell. Dustin Creel, we got a very special guest. The young rookie sensation, Puka Nakua in the yes, flesh. Sir. We appreciate Welcome. you, brother. Yes, Welcome. Welcome to yeah, the show. Thanks for having me. Continue the conversation. We're just, you know, talking ball a little bit, talking about uh, art forms, you know, pass rushing, running routes, all type of shit. You know, in football, it's a, the ultimate team sport. If you're not at your absolute best, it's it comes down to one-on-one -on -one matchups. Who's winning the one-on-one -on -one matchups more consistently, you know, on a, on a daily basis? And that's what separates the great players from, you know, the average. So um, kind of break that down. You know, obviously you came in the league, you're a fifth round pick. Obviously people were sleeping on you for, you know, various reasons. Your story, what's your, well, how did you get into football? Did you play other sports? Um, and, you know, what do you love most about the game? Thanks for having me. Hell yeah, <laughs> hell yeah. Appreciate you, Shane. Nice to meet the boys. Uh, yeah. um, shoot, football has been like my life. Crazy, I bless you for real. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I have six siblings. I have five brothers and one sister. So my mm -hmm. goes boy, girl, and then the rest are boys. So I have one younger brother. He's the he's the last of us. But uh, I came from like a football a football home. Like that was before I started school. I was playing football. Like that was like my earliest memories. Like in the backyard, like with the the last little bit of shoulder pads, the pee wee shoulder pads, and I was tackling <laughs> dumbly for my brothers and yeah, stuff like yeah. that. But like I learned just watching them and like idolizing my brothers because like mm -hmm. I was the little kid like at the on the in the side part of the football field at the varsity football games who was sure. running and trying to score yeah. touchdowns and be like wait they wait hold the bait that's my brother running the touchdown my, yeah. and i'd be like but that was like my greatest memories of like i wanted to be just like my brothers because i like my yeah. earliest memories of football were watching them succeed and sure. play ball yeah so like Football was something like at a very young age, I was like, man, this is what I want to do. I played basketball, like my family played football and basketball growing up, um, a little bit of volleyball. But then uh, I moved to Utah and they didn't do uh, volleyball, which which is probably good because it would have hurt my knees. But yeah. <laughs> like play, playing football and basketball is like the greatest thing like for me, like all winter and fall, you play football and then like and then you get into basketball, AAU basketball in the summertime. Yeah. And then right in the summertime, as soon as it's done, you're right back into football season. So it's like we were always in shape at the beginning of the fall season or, or football because we just came off like a basketball yeah. running up and down the court all the time. A freshman year, I grew to about six foot. I was like, oh man, like I had played like defensive end because I had a big head like in little oh, league. Like shit. I my, I, 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 like <laughs> full rush and shit. No, literally battering like all the, yeah, uh, all the all the undiagnosed concussions in like yeah, seaweed yeah. football and like <laughs> bro, I'm talking no, about I'm real. running just bleh, like right into these guys with my with my noggin. Like I remember like uh, <laughs> yeah. I I don't remember a lot of those things, <laughs> but I remember like that was like all my highlights of just me like like no mo no pass rush. We're little kids, but I'm also like my head was bigger than yours and you're gonna fall because of that. <laughs> percent just running through the wall that's yeah. dope no that's funny yeah so obviously like your journey is different than most guys you know you didn't come in you know you don't see fifth round guys come in and have immediate success like the way you did and i was telling these guys where we just had edelman uh julian edelman earlier oh, really? uh, another great <laughs> yeah. receiver um absolute legend but we we're just talking about it when we had the joint practice versus you guys um we're doing like our our scouting of you guys and breaking it down. Cooper Cub, I think he was hurt. He was out at yeah. that time. And they're like, yeah, they got this guy, you know, Cam Akers, the running back. And they got this receiver, this 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 rookie, fifth round pick or whatever. And they had a picture of you and you had slick back hair, the big smile. <laughs> we're like, who the f is this guy? <laughs> and never, you know, we didn't know who you were, but coach was like, no, Sean McVay said like, this kid has been killing it in training camp and you and Stafford had a great connection. And that was early on. Um, and obviously people got to see it, you know, all during your rookie year. So 
kind of break it down. Like, what was your journey? Did you come in and you were like a third string and you had to really just earn it? Or was Cooper being out kind of helped you get more reps and things like that? Yeah, I guess uh, coming in, like when I got, just remember being drafted, my agent's like, yeah, like they, they got Coop and they got Van Jefferson, but then like the, yeah. that third receiver is like up for grabs. And I was just like, well, I'm just glad somebody took me. Like going in the fifth round, like yeah. uh, my brothers both went, had played in the league undrafted. Uh, my brother played, bounced around from teams for like six years. So I was yeah. like, I'd seen like the business side and like the journey of like how important like and lucky you are to be drafted. And, like what kind of yeah. what that means, especially if you can go in the earlier rounds. So like yeah. getting drafted was like, oh man, I'm so excited. But then like, yeah, there's like the third position is open. And that's where I was like, man, I'm just going to go one day at a time. Like that's my motto i've been like i gotta show up every single day and like yeah. prove to them that like i belong here because like yeah. they wait everybody like they could have they could have took me in the, like everybody waited like they passed me multiple multiple, multiple times so it's like yeah. they obviously don't think i'm like that important yeah. but i'm gonna show you why i'm important like i just and then at one day at a time and then it was just kind of i mean coop was like the best person to me and being able to help coach me along the way but just the environment of Coach McVay, like being like a new era of like, I guess the NFL, I don't ever, I don't know what it's like, but yeah. my brother was with the Browns in 2016 when they went 0-15 or 0-16. So he's <laughs> yeah. talking about like, this is the most ruthless, like he's terrible a Browns fan. Browns Browns fan. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> stressing them out. Man, that was a tough one against us this year too, man. It's not going to lie to you. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Yeah. Fuck your shit. <laughs> don't be nice. Don't Dude, be that fun. was such a crazy, I, I should have had a hundred rushing yards too, but they had me on some, they had, a, they hold us on some, uh, <laughs> but holding calls on our can't receivers, do it. you gotta follow man. the rules, bro. <laughs> yeah, come on. <laughs> the, rules. The, rules. the night before every single game, I like to be on point, get my hair cut, beard shaved, lawn mowed, and that's where this comes in handy. This episode is brought to you by the spring cleaning champions, Manscaped. This season, make sure to groom your carpets and the drapes with the leaders in below the waist grooming. Clear out the winter bush with Manscaped's Lawn Mower 5.0. Features two interchangeable next gen skin safe blade heads. It also features dual LED spotlights to guide you through the darkest winter debris, any type of location, dark, cave, anything. Hate making a mess? This bad boy is waterproof. Go in the damn ocean with this thing. It's absolutely incredible. I take it everywhere I go. Whether you're looking to craft your signature look or clean up the neckline, these are always the right tools for the job. Join the 10 million men worldwide who trust Manscaped with the code RUSH at manscaped.com. That's 20% off, free shipping with code RUSH. That's why I use the Lawnmower 5.0. How was Coop during that process though? Like was, when he was injured, a lot of guys are spending a lot of time rehabbing, but was he there for you? And like your rookie year, you really don't know a whole lot of stuff. Um, you haven't been through a lot of experiences in the league. So was he sitting down, breaking film down with you? How was that process? Yeah, like I try to like work by they had the breakfast club, which I never like didn't know was a thing. I was just like, man, we're all at the facility. I mean, people show up early, but like these are like they wake up way before I do. Like I, I'm so I'm catching like the back 45 minutes of yeah. like that breakfast club, like yeah. coming in. But it was just like I would just sit in the meetings. And then when Coop went down, there was like, oh, like Pook, you're in these. But then it was like I was also kind of getting some of the reps with the ones like getting yep. sprinkled in here and there. So I just thought it was so funny. Like they weren't unintentionally not talking to me, but they'd be like just they roll through that clicker like, you know, like somebody yeah, who fast. knows the tape like they're yeah. fast forward pause they're like all right they're looking at a specific thing when they go and they're like they sometimes they're like saying it and then they're not but like coop would be in there like he would take the time to be able to take uh, talk to me especially in those first five weeks before he came back i was blessed to get like i guess like a luxury treatment as like a fifth round like i remember i had hurt my ribs after week one in seattle but like i didn't practice all the way up to us playing the 49ers till like friday like friday in helmets when we're just yeah. like finishing fine tuning the game plan yeah fast yeah. friday so me and Cooper like watching the like everybody practice and like we're talking and like, we're kind of like I'm like I love basketball I'm talking to him all the time I'm like yeah like I'd hit you with this crossover but then I'm like <laughs> well I'm you know, like now I guess that was my way to like kind of ask him about route running because like yeah. Coop's a pretty quiet guy I don't know if you've ever talked to him like yeah you don't see him in interviews and stuff a lot he's yeah very off the grid very, a little very bit. low key like yeah. uh, uh, but he's the man one of the best route runners of all time like a, a, yeah. a student yeah. of the Smooth. game triple like, crown triple crown yeah unbelievable yeah. so like that was my way to like get him to be like hey kind of teach me like you've run all of these routes before like hi on this like at the top of this seven cut like okay. Um, if he's trailing on my inside hip, like how do I set him to win? Like, and, oh, sure. do I do I just triple or do I just go one now or do I just take it now? And like, First, we started yeah. having those conversations like on the side in that after just that week one in Seattle, and then that happened like 
for the five weeks he was gone. And then when he came back, it was like, oh, now we're in meetings, now we're in practice. Like Now you know he, that lingo in the film that they're watching was so fast. It yeah, slowed down for you, right? 100%. Yeah, I don't know necessarily if it slowed down. <laughs> but, uh, yeah. Like just being able to be like, understand, okay, like I can come in and like in the back 40, like the last 45 minutes of them watching tape, like I can start to look, okay, like how do I see myself and like what we're playing and what we're watching or be like, oh, how do I ask questions if I'm just watching this specific guy? Like I know they're looking at all of this, but I'm like, okay, I can't look at all of it. How do I narrow it down to like one guy and ask questions? Yeah, but yeah. No, Who's a better dumb. Hooper? You or Coop? <laughs> oh, I, I, I don't know. I would say me. I, I think I got a little bit, of, I, I think it. I got a little bit more bounced than Coop right now. <laughs> we saw some oh, yeah. I, honestly, yeah, shocked. I'm not saying I was sleeping on your basketball game, but I wasn't aware. I wasn't aware. <laughs> yeah, no, but I was I, watching the celebrity game and you were dunking it, hitting threes and oh, shit. You could tell you've, you've played some balls. So I appreciate it. I it respect fun. that. I had to go crazy. That was my opportunity. I was like, man, maybe they'll sign me. Somebody will sign me for a 10 day contract, yeah, man. That money Shanghai is going crazy, right? No, no that, that's what I'm like. Even if it's overseas, bro. Never know. Flint Tropic. Bro, let me. <laughs> yeah, get tropical. Yeah, but no, that's went, fucking dope. Went to an LAFC game not too long ago. Met Will Ferrell. Trying to think, bro. I just saw, I just watched that movie Semi Pro. I'm like, yes, I'm like, bro, I just, I like, I watched one of your old movies. And I'm like blinking, and I say. Tropic Thunder, you've seen the movie. Tropic yes. Thunder. Yeah. Oh. And I'm like, and he's like, oh, I'm not in that. And I was like, I know you're not in that. And I'm like, oh. oh. And I'm like, oh, he's, like he's like, what is it about? And I was like, the basketball team. And he's like, mm. and I'm like, semi-pro. Flint. And he's like, oh, uh, semi, semi-pro. Yeah. And I was just so embarrassed. I blew my moment. Oh. <laughs> that was your, oh. that was your, that was you literally well. dreamed of that moment and pissed Damn. on me. Oh, yeah, it was so <laughs> was bad. Not. But then his son came up and was like, oh, like. Puka, like I'm a fan, and he saved them. Like, yeah, like, like, thank they, God. Like, I, yeah, it was it heading was. towards awkward silence. Yeah, 100. Yeah. 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 Eating better is easy with Factors delicious, ready-to-eat meals. Every fresh, never frozen meal is chef crafted, dietitian approved, and ready to go in just two minutes. You'll have over 35 different options to choose from every single week: pancakes, smoothies, calorie smart, protein plus, breakfast, midday bites. Factor meals are ready to heat and eat. So there's no prepping, cooking, or cleanup needed at all. Factor is the perfect solution if you're looking for fast, premium options with no cooking required. Factor is less expensive than takeout, and every single meal is a dietitian approved to be nutritious and delicious. Head to factormeals.com slash rush50 and use code rush50 to get 50% off. That's code rush50 at factormeals.com slash rush50 to get 50% off. That's oh, dope, that's we got to meet Will Ferrell. How's, how's living in LA? I mean, you're a rookie, have a ton of success out the gate. I mean, you probably met some crazy people you've, you know, grew up watching and idolizing, stuff like that. Yeah, I mean, true. I, as a LeBron stand, I still have yet to meet LeBron. Like, I've been to a couple games, like, there was a, I went to a game, they played the Knicks not um, earlier during the season or later in the back half of the season. Went to a game. I got moved to. I'm sitting right behind Rob Palinka. Like that. I, I don't know how I got yeah, these. I'm like so right awesome. behind Rob Palinka. Like it's crazy. Nice. Like right. Of course, like, you've got a great view of the game. Mm-hmm. Yep. Then I get moved like right across to like kind of like behind the basket, but like right behind the court side. And they have they're shooting free throws and bronze at the like the block. Like yeah. he's looking at the block like facing us. So mm-hmm. I'm like. Do I just stand up and like be like, bro? I'm like, I'm, I'm like, I love this you. Me. Like, yes. I love you, dude. Yeah, yeah. I'm like, no, so it's he me. did last night. No, yeah. I'll conf- I confess my love from I, from right there. I would have been like, my glorious king. Thank <laughs> you. Yes. Yeah. Like, bye. Bye. Every time he's going down. Every time. I had that Cleveland jersey on. Oh. His 09 Cleveland jersey. Right. Like, you gotta pay that. homage. Oh my. Pay yeah. homage. But What's the best version of like LeBron? <sighs> It's tough. It's t- a twelve. I say twenty thirteen. Like I say twenty thirteen. Braun is just heat, and that's like second yeah. year heat. Yeah. Heat, and then I think twenty eighteen. Braun is like grown man. Yeah. Braun. Yeah, that's like I've yeah. mastered every part of this game, and I'm still in like a physical peak age. Like, yeah, yeah. I can still the Ky- play you're talking forty about the Kyrie when he won the ring with Kyrie and K Love. No, that's 2016. Yeah, that was, that was that's 2016. where honestly, that was like, I think 16 is like that was like I a god tier year. But yeah. I, like that 2018, like they didn't win it. That's that's when like James Harden. I know, like I don't know if like you said you were a James Harden fan, yeah. but I think James Harden robbed uh, Braun of the MVP that year. Bro, Braun is going crazy. Talk shit, like right? don't absolutely do that. going crazy robbed, that year. He's like, been robbed numerous times of Defensive um, Player of the Year too. Yeah, oh, Marc Gasol got or like. He got it He's that 2013 year. Bron should have got MVP, Finals MVP, and then Defensive Player of the Year. <laughs> then everybody would have been like, "Oh, he has a Defensive Player." Then the Jordan talk would have been even closer. The Jordan talks, I don't think, is that close. Honestly, I don't either. <laughs> That's crazy. You're saying that. <laughs> live bro, camera. No, I, I, Jordan I, athlete. Bro, 
I, st- I like, be careful. I stand on that. Very, 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 wow. very confidently. Like the best Stop. basketball player, like the goat. I think, like, I guess, yeah. Everybody has a different like idea of goat, but yeah. like, I'm saying the best basketball player of all time. 6'8", 260 pounds, fast as lightning, jump out the gym, bro. Built fall. like a tank, like got the handles, can shoot the long ball. Logo Braun is a thing, bro. Like respectfully, <sighs> Michael bro, Jordan, bro. Like when he did this thing, he everybody was letting him shoot threes, bro. Like they were like, shoot the three. And he happened to make six of them. And he's like, hey, better not do that again. And they're like, okay, maybe we'll put a Learned hand on that, coach. Like, I respect two. it. I mean, I respect greatness. I'm not. We can go back and forth. I mean, this is what, oh, this is all we do. All you imagine him and I the We've gotten together? him screaming matches numerous times, about, but I respect it. I mean, LeBron's great. It's simple and plain. You know, people have their preferences. I mean, they're both great. I think Jordan's the greatest. I think Kobe. I, I'm a Kobe guy. I'm not saying he's greater mm-hmm. than LeBron, but I'm a Kobe guy. Five rings, you know, four. Oh, yeah. that, so, no, I was like, yeah, I'm being for like that 20. I'd be on the bus ride. Coop would be laughing at me because I'd be watching like LeBron mini movies yeah. like on YouTube before yeah. the game. Like I'd be watching basketball yeah. highlights before the game just because like I feel like it's free to move, especially as a receiver. Like yeah. sure. that crossover like is at the line of scrimmage for me all the time. And then I got to yeah. win at the break point again. But I think in the basketball sense where it's like it's different for me is I can be physical at the break point too like where it's like yeah. i have the the release where it's like okay now i'm being phys- like it's a not as physical but i can be but it's a it's a finesse like okay i need to be quick but sudden and then get into my route and yeah. then at the break point it's like okay if you're gonna like depending on where if i'm bread and if i'm on the the right the right numbers the the right the right side numbers of the field and i have an outbreaking run you're inside like I could it, I could go one two and stick out, but then you're gonna undercut. But then it's like I can go right left, stick you here, hold you, and then when I come out for my next one, like uh, now I've created more space. And like yeah. this guy Matthew Stafford doesn't miss ever, no. so it's like oh, the ability darts. to feel like I have so much confidence, like like so much confidence that he knows like where I'm gonna be out of the break, but the ball is gonna be in the one spot it needs to be. Like there's gonna like yeah. there, you can put a ball out there and be like, I, you leave me room for air to kind of go grab and I can make up for space where it's like, yeah. I think of like so many passes. Like I p- caught one from Pittsburgh this year. Like <laughs> I had like a, a, a wheel route, like, and he left. He like, uh, we kept, like, he lets it go late. He lets it go late, throws it, bro. Mika Fitzpatrick and Wallace are both sprinting. And I'm like, I go up, like, it's like a slight jump. The ball, like, just like perfect. Like, that's the biggest thing. Like, that spiral is his spiral it's never, tight. like, it's as tight as could be every single time as a receiver. Like, the ability to not have to think about tracking the ball for half the play, like, yeah. makes such a difference. I'm like, oh, when, like, I'm running, I'm like, oh, shit, I, like, I already know where that ball's going. Like, so yeah. it's like, I, I'm going to jump and I can see it, like, I can go like this and be like, okay, I'm not necessarily thinking about where my feet go. I know I got to get my feet down, but I just remember getting hit. But, like, kept, like the ball was so perfect. And then be like, oh, it made my job of being like, I got to get my, my, my physical part yeah. so much easier because, like, catching it, the ball was flawless yeah no Matthew Stafford I grew up a Lions fan so okay. Stafford like I'm, I'm a firm believer like when people are disrespecting me like oh I never want to rank I'm like no bro, Stafford what? is like that I and he's tough and as hell which he's is dope. tough like, as nails he's he's tough tough plays through there, injuries bro. he's I think Stafford's top five me too in my opinion no question best thrower ever Aaron Rodgers in my opinion Okay, so okay, and then bro, it's Matt bro, Stafford bro, though. Where for have me. you been? Where, where are, are you on the same thing? We're on the same team. I saw that thing. You said Lions. Yeah, you said what Lions. Are, what are we doing? You boys can get on that. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you said Lions. I grew up like uh, my my family was like a Steelers family. Troy Palmolo, Samoa. I'm Samoa, and so He's a Pittsburgh uh, yeah. guy. So they're yeah. like that's like a natural like team sure. everybody grab or the 49ers. Do they just like teams that kind of where the poly players have gone? But I was like, man, I loved like Aaron Rodgers. Like I was a cheesehead as a little kid. Like, when they won in 2011, <laughs> I remember being the only one in my family that was so happy. Beating the Steelers. Yeah. Yeah. Let's go. The lone Let's go. Yeah, yeah, but that's why when I came here, like I never like it didn't register like Matthew Stafford was always playing against them until like we would be mm-hmm. in some like we were like, oh, uh, we'd be in the breakfast club and he'd be like, Yeah, we go back to this game in uh twenty sixteen where we played the Packers and like I threw this out route to Golden Tate or somebody just while well, he's talking about some other receiver and I'm just like Man, you were playing against the Packers all this time, and I had no idea because I loved Aaron Rodgers. I'm <laughs> out here yeah. I'm like, yeah, it's just like me when I'm wild. watching Braun. I'm like, I'm my glorious king, number twelve, throw the ball so perfectly. <laughs> yeah. Like, thank you, like so <laughs> effortlessly. It's, it's, like, he can do the same the thing. No. Yes. It, like it absolutely blew my mind. Is it just Everything. uber talent, or how did you and him build trust so early? Uh, right after we got drafted, uh, the OTA period that's coming up, like right after the rookies, we had to stay after you, like make the rookies stay yeah. longer. We're doing all that. Oops. 
But then me and Davis Allen is our, our my roommate, and we get a text like right after everybody's getting ready to go home. But I was like, I'm not going home. I'm like, why would I want to go home? I'm about to be living out here in LA. I'm trying to make the team. So like, sure, I don't yeah. care if you guys let mm-hmm. me stay here from workout. Like, if you're trying to charge me, I'm gonna be here to like. I just want to be here. So then they, I got a text from the the workout coach. It's like, hey, Matthew wants you and Davis to show up to run routes tomorrow. I was like. All right, like I remember, like I feel like I didn't get any sleep, just being like, man, I gotta run the best routes of my life tomorrow. <laughs> yes, like, yeah. like do not kid. mess it up. But like, at the time, I'm wearing the Alpha Menace, bro. Like I'm wearing, yeah. like that was the cleat. Like I, I, I wore the the vapors in college sure. but i had a, a jones fraction when i got to the rams they were Too like low. we yeah. know about your injury history like we don't yeah. want like anything to go wrong so they put me in the alpha man so i'm like wearing like but i had worn them before like i wore like a bigger cleat in college too so yeah. I was like i wasn't but it was so funny because i was just trying to still kind of get used to the footing of like man this shoe is so heavy and i gotta run like and be explosive out of <laughs> yeah. my brakes but uh, it was so funny because i remember i feel like matthew thought like me and davis like sounded the same like running routes because davis has kind of a heavy foot and he's like man pook like you sound like you should play tight end and i'm like don't start right, that yeah, like, <laughs> don't do that I'm like for real bro <laughs> i was like i'm like that's where i was like remember i was like i gotta be able to find a way to pick my feet up but they felt so comfortable because my yeah. the foot the base of the shoe was so wide but i remember and then i got invited a couple of times davis left town to go get married i stayed out there i got i kept getting invited to come through i stayed out there the whole summertime and oh. we just like and even from the very first time, Matthew, like, in his warm-up balls, like, the warm-up ball is not looking like a wounded duck. Like, the warm-up ball is, Zipping like, us. whipping it, yeah. like, every single time. And I was like, wow. If this is how he throws the ball, like, it's going to be so hard to drop the ball. My coach gets mad at me all the time for, like, as a receiver, you're not supposed to, like, you got to look it in. You're supposed to, like, watch yeah, it all yeah. the way till it catches your hand and, like, to the yeah. tuck. Bro, like, half the time I'd be running, bro. Like, I know, like, I he like I have so much trust in him, like, in the placement mm-hmm. of, like, him protecting me, like, from, a hit, like, somebody get a hit me, understanding of, like, where the defender is. Like, I'll see, like, if I'm running an in cut and I break like this, like, I, like, it only, like, I have to look back at for a second. I can see the ball spin. And I'm like, I need to see where the defenders are at because, like, I know the ball's going to hit me right in between my 1-7, like, <laughs> just at chest height, and I'm yeah. going to turn and be able to go make a move on the next guy. Like, yeah. and I just trust, like, I we played the Niners week two, ran that same in cut, like went yeah. like this, but Fred was coming. So I like, I Jesus. went and I looked look to see where Chatarius <laughs> Ward was at. And I like kind of went like this and I like tucked my hands too early and I, I hit it, but then I got hit and I was like, all right, you better run through that every single time because like he's putting it in like the perfect spot for like me to catch it, tuck Before. it, and then like yeah. still get hit. Like yeah. you're gonna take the hit no matter what. Yeah. So like, bang, but bang, he was giving bang, me yeah. like the opportunity to like he cover like, up, protect you yeah. at the same time. A hundred percent. Like yeah. he does that every single time for everybody. Like his awareness of like your 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 mannerisms, your movement, like your understanding of like how you want to accelerate with the ball, and like he's also like seeing like he's like kind of like telling you like on the shallows like you like shallow like when you run a shallow mm-hmm. you have the zone or man like if i'm out, if i got man go. coverage yeah I'm, I'm rolling out like he's putting it on your front pad if i'm running a shallow going this way and i got to turn up to this shoulder like the Put ball's back, right on so this right. side so like i have yeah. no i have no momentum stop like i can turn it's right just, up field yeah. and accelerate like, yeah. Yeah. we run a lot of choice routes with like coop and understanding like different like with especially just against zone coverage like where the defender is going to be at and where yep. you need to be like against the defender like yeah he is uh, second to none of that. Do you expect yeah. him to have a huge season again next year? Come uh, back? 100%. I think, yeah, we got we got some guys to protect up front. Um, we're trying to build a great wall of China yeah. up there. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> but it'll be fun. I'm excited. I mean, we got uh, the wideouts and stuff coming back. But AD, obviously, now, like, uh, ho- looking at, like, a whole team thing. But we were at his house after we lost to Detroit, and he was talking about, like, uh, you're about to be introduced to, like, the business side of the NFL. And I was like, man, I kind of already know. Like, I, we see – we had 40 we had 40 rookies go come into training camp we had 35 guys on our roster like yeah. when i got drafted so it's like Damn. everybody's like Shit everybody time. who showed up to training camp was like you have the opportunity to make this team like nobody like as a rookie or the guy who was just here yeah. like a couple yeah. weeks ago yeah. so it's like everybody was like in such like a fight and i was like man like i was just so excited i mean i was having so much fun like it was one day at a time where it's like yeah. guys like i love playing football like they're like as much as it is stressful like they're it. asking us to play football. Like, yeah. you're like I'm competing with you in football. Like if I get to compete with you in basketball, it's like something like it'd be yeah. different. Like yeah, yes. I'd have like I'd be more serious because I want to show you like I'm actually better than you. But, like, yeah. <laughs> I guess in that the same way, but it's like we're like that the team, the greatest team sport. So it's like yeah. that where it's like so hard to like I guess express sometimes like that camaraderie that you have of like I'm competing with you, but I also want us to succeed at the same time. Yeah. Where it's like that's such a fine balance, and I think like. Yeah, when you have when guys like Matthew and like Coach McVay, I mean, and Coop and AD, like it helps like 
ease that in a way, but no it's difficult. That's a, such a fine balance to have. Yeah, you know? no doubt. I mean, it is the ultimate team sport. And like you said, like the, the business side of it too, like you don't know until you know, and like yeah. you're young, like <laughs> it will, you'll, you'll figure it out once you, it's your time to get paid and things like that. And you understand there's a lot of politics and a lot of shit behind the scenes. Um, but it also at the same time, you can't lose track of what's most important. At the end of the day, it's football. And if you're playing high level football and you're putting in the work and focus on the little details, like the little shit with Stafford, he's done it for that long at a high level for a reason. Yes. Cause he takes care of his business first. Yeah. And that's the thing. That's my biggest advice to you is just work, put football first and all the rest of the shit will take care of itself. It's your, res your, your film is your resume. It's, it's cliche, but it's the truth. Um, but to pivot off that, obviously, you mentioned Aaron Donald being at his crib. I know we talked about it a little bit, you know, doing the Jordan shoot together yeah. um, this week. What's your thoughts on that? Did you know it was coming or do you kind of have an idea? And just what was being around a guy who's arguably the greatest to ever do it um, on a daily basis? How was that? Man, like it makes like my first year I was thinking like, man, everybody talks like, man, you had so much success. Like, or you think like back on like some of those moments where it's like, man, did I like, I took that for granted thinking like he's just on my team already and it's like man it's already gone like the greatest yeah. of all time but it was wild it's out like just remember my first interaction with him was like uh i'm in the weight room the rookies were, were working out after i swear he's already been working out like we did our our run on the field and then we're coming in to do our lift this guy's still working out like yeah. the, the the vets have already had their workout like he's still there <clears throat> i'm doing like the massage the little their guns by the the weights <laughs> in the middle he like is the 180s are on the floor by me walks up by me and he's like move and i i i, I, I jump and like all he says is move like, yeah. like I jump move like and I, but i like turn my back to him so like i'm not facing like no eye contact so i'm like i like i like, turn away and then like he says move again like and then i set the Theragun down, walked out of the weight room. I was like, I'll be back. I don't know what time our lift is at, but I'll, I don't need to be in there. Like, now. It's, it better it's not be right time. now. Yeah. yeah, it's AD's time to lift. <laughs> but, <laughs> the the, the weight room was off. Man, yeah. It's off limits. Yeah. Yeah. That. Uh, oh, that's dope, bro. But he was so cool. And then, like, especially, like, seeing, like, uh, somebody who, who's done it for a long time, like, in his routine, like, of being out there before the walkthroughs and having all the D linemen come out there. And then, like, the interaction, like, just, like, Kobe Turner is another rookie uh, yeah. D lineman that played really good for us he this year. Out. Yeah. 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 Freaking ball. Uh, we're actually really, – and he, he's, uh, he's a goofball. Uh, <laughs> but, like, watching them, like, bond as a group and then yeah. watch them also all, like – watch him as the leader and like being able to follow like this is like the, the, yeah. the standard that's been set it's like blueprint. It's, yeah, it's the blue like you, you're watching like the the goat the yeah. goat blueprint right Legit. in front yeah. of you like yeah if yeah. you like to ask questions and like that's the thing like he wasn't uh you know like at the facility offense defense we have very little time together honestly just because like yeah. uh unless it's like a team meeting everybody just in the go on that like the lifts are split everybody's kind of opposite i mean i don't mm -hmm. know how you guys do it over there but yeah um so it's like he was funny i sat uh, uh the rookies are in the back row but the d line was like right next to us in like the yeah. team meeting so it was like so funny because like then i'm in the team like we didn't like get to talk to him like not having a like uh, we have daily conversations every once in a while but it's like that was like our time to like see ad's personality because he's in the back of the meeting like talking to all the d line slapping them on the back of the head like every time coach would be <laughs> saying something he's like that's one yeah you suck and he's laughing and he's like damn jonah what the hell are you doing right here he's like you see me getting double team like he's just talking on the back like <laughs> yeah. you see like his personality and he's like just vibing like yeah. being one like one of the guys just communicating yeah. and talking all the time and like he was hilarious but it's also like i'm in the back like and i feel like every time coach Coach McVay's eyes would like go into like an extra glare. Like he was looking at our back corner because we had a bunch of some of the other guys in our corner. Yeah. So I'm like, man, he's looking at me like AD's over busting jokes the whole yeah. time. I'm <laughs> laughing, but Coach McVay's serious. He's like, hey, on third and uh, third and seven right here, we're looking at this coverage, uh, and I'm just like, AD, can you shut the hell up? <laughs> yeah. 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 I, I don't have the same leisure. Way. I'm like, if yeah. I'm laughing, I'm about to get my ass chewed out. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, facts. Is McVay pretty intense? Mm. Yeah, in moments, in yeah. moments, I think. Yeah. Um, but he's he's super chill. Like he's like I get texts from him. Like he's like says bro a lot. Like he's so young. Like he's, <laughs> he's like cool. says bro. Like he's the homie. He's cool like, as shit. He's the yeah. best. I, he's the man. No, he's dope. Uh, I got to obviously. I've been going against y'all in joint practices for, I think three times we've gone against y'all in yeah. L.A. and um, being around McVeigh every time. He was a Gruden. Like he Gruden got him into the league. He was like a ball boy in yeah. Tampa, like they have videos of him as a ball boy, like carrying a towel, following Gruden around and shit. And he, he was just talking ball and he would always like mention shit and Gruden was like looking at him like, what the f 
do you know about football? And like he didn't know he didn't knew ball like that, but he yeah. played in college. Obviously, he's a Mac guy. Yeah. Um, and Gruden gave him an opportunity, like gave him a, a random title, like the NFL. You could just really slap, him, you know, yeah, put him, right? just get him a, a foot in the door. Yes. And now he's a Super Bowl winning head coach, and he's young. He's not even forty he's years like old. He's like a mini yet. Gruden. Yeah, he's like a mini Gruden in, in a way. But in a way. yeah, McVay is dope. He's dope, and you could tell like y'all's environment. It's totally different. Everybody has their own philosophies on things, but. Y'all's like, you could tell y'all enjoy being around each other and being around the team. Like, the environment seems seems like y'all are doing it the right way and y'all are having success. So, it's dope, man. Y'all got a, y'all got a squad. I mean, yeah. I'm glad, squad, yeah, I'm glad sure. we didn't have to play you, man. That's what, <laughs> when I remember just going through the joint. Marcus Peters on your guys' team. Yeah, MP. He's, yeah, he's been on the Rams before. So, yeah. I'm like, no, and like, obviously, like, there's, I wouldn't say, like, I, even though I grew up watching football, I like, I don't know. You, you, there's comes a point where you're like you're not really, like uh, in college where I didn't really watch the, I watched the NFL but I watched a semi like as a casual fan like where I yeah. wasn't like yeah. super like into guys um, but then I, like oh. you know some of the like, wait, I, for real I was just waiting to look at bro I couldn't even do it Max I had to pause Edelman about two or three times, times, times. Two times. So. I could see it but, um, yeah continue <laughs> uh, but like. Uh, that's when I like I realized like watching film and like understanding was understanding like the cerebral part of the game was so important. Yeah. He's watching us like we do a lot of motions. You've like obviously done our training yes. camps, like done the joint practices, like trying to dissect the defense, get our our man zone coverages, like and see what, like what we're looking against. I just remember like him looking at me, and then like being like in a stance and then like seeing that I was off the ball and then like he just like put his hands on his hips, like stand straight up and be like, all right, Matthew. Send him on, like, uh, like get it over with. Like, I'm waiting, bro. And I'd be like, what? And then, like, I remember, like, him, like, it was like he was playing a game. He wasn't playing the game against me. He was playing the game against, like, Matthew and Coach McVay. Like, he was mm -hmm. trying to, like, as and, like, trying to guess, like, but by our tendencies, like, especially being in our offense. So, like, I feel like there's, we've probably run similar stuff, like, and carry stuff from season to season. But, like, somebody who's like, I'm guessing what you're doing before you. I'm not really worried about how you're going to run it. Mm -hmm. I'm going to beat you there before you're even like you. Like, I'm going to stand at your bench cut yardage and outside leverage of you the you. entire yeah. time. Like, yeah. you know, or unless like I really think you're going to beat me over the top, like I maybe will open up my stride and you'll maybe give me to flip my hips. But like, I know that you have to come right here based on where you're aligned, uh, where they sent that other motion. Uh, they're under center. He's going to drop back. You're going to play action. Like he's going to stand up. He's going to look at you and like on mm -hmm. your seventh outside step, like I'm going to be waiting for you. And I was like, wow. That Damn. sucks. Like, I was yeah. like, how do I got? And then I remember going back to Coop. Like, that created a new conversation for me and Coop. Like, hey, if he's, like, already there, how do I sell him in my stem? Like, to make him feel like either something vertical, something yeah. back inside. Like, how do yeah. I get him to feel leverage? same? Right. Yeah, change my leverage. How do I make it feel the same uh, as another route? Or how do I break, break across his face while, like, not giving huge indicators away and creating, yeah. like, like making my play space smaller. Like Matthew's already got only seven yards between the numbers or the sideline and stuff like that. Like I want to keep that as big as I can for as long as I can. So like, but Coop is the best at like being able to communicate and ask questions like that because he made it easy. But that was like my Marcus Peter story because I was like, this dude's not even realizing, like he's not paying attention to what I'm doing. Yeah. Like he's just trying to guess every route I'm running. And I was like, this sucks. Like it made like I remember yeah. thinking like I'm terrible. Like he's guarding every round. Like he, I'm getting strapped yeah, yeah. up right oh, now, coach. Like, like hey, yeah. don't throw me the ball. I did really good in the one on ones. Like and yeah. like I we we didn't do, I mean we didn't do one on like the ones versus ones for too long and we didn't like full go because yeah. you were killing us. Um, <laughs> <laughs> like a lot of stuff where we weren't going against you guys. I Humbly. thought I was doing. Yeah. I, Humbly, I, you said. I, I thought I was. I thought I was doing good. Yeah, you that was fun, bro. I didn't have Joy to block Bragg's you. Season. That's why I don't know. I, I, I was different. We our offense was different. I think because like I got to block a lot of the 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 DNs and the outside backers of the league this year, or at least the teams we played against. Because yeah. how much what we do in our offense. But man, I'm glad I didn't have to block you because uh, <laughs> it would have been terrible. There was no. a lot of buzz around that uh, joint practice. Yeah, definitely some scraps and. Uh, some That's scraps. just how joint practices are, though. One hundred percent. Every time. Failure. So bad. It's like yeah. you want to do it. Yeah, this. it's and you're just camp. Sick of hitting you're your two, team. three yeah. weeks into camp, and now mm -hmm. you finally get to take it out on somebody else, and you just know by <laughs> by the end of day one, and then going into day two, you're like, it's time. Yeah, like there's gonna be a fight it. immediately. Yeah. Exactly. Like my third year, we went and we <laughs> did our joint practice versus y'all. And by the second day, it was literally Maybe we didn't even practice. get one team period in before it was just brawling, and then Groon's like, get on the.
But <laughs> get on the boat. We're out of here. We're done. It was just <laughs> mayhem. Like full whole field brawl. Yeah. And then last year, obviously, what happened? the cam. Uh, <laughs> yeah. That's, that's a whole different saying. situation. But yeah, um, I mean, he got a little butt hurt. And <laughs> yeah, that was a whole whole debacle. But. Shit happens. I mean, Hell Cam's yeah. not with you guys anymore, right? He's no, he got. Yeah. He went to like Minnesota. Yeah, Minnesota, yeah he went yeah, to Minnesota. Right. Yeah, we 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 scrapped. Yeah. Did you have a welcome to the NFL moment this year? Yes, week one in Seattle. I'm on the right side of the field, <laughs> and we're going. We're like on that 25 yard line. I'm on the right. We're on the right hash, and I'm off the ball. But I'm getting ready to pull, like, and be the second puller behind this guard, like, to like right behind the guard. Like, as soon as the guard kicks it out, like, I'm gonna be the next yeah. guy. Running yeah. backs right behind me. Uh, we've run this during practice. We've do it during training camp. I've, I'm semi good. I know, like, okay, if the safety doesn't come fit, like, I'm just gonna run out to the corner. Yep. And if the if the corner stays out there, the safety's gonna come fit. And if there's neither of them, strap inside. I'm just so. gonna. I'll, I'll, I'll hit the backer. Yep. Like, somebody's yeah. gonna come present themselves. Hit me. I'm gonna be sure. in the combat zone as soon as I turn my <laughs> it's head. It's like, war, man. Yeah, it's a war zone. Like thinking like, go. I'm like trying to like not peek it. Bobby Wagner, they got the dark visor. Uh -huh. I didn't realize like, wow, my eye movement. Like I realized like Ernest, our our backer from 53, yeah. like he'd always be like, yeah. man, Puga. Every time you go to the backside, like you turn your head like this, look all the way over there, and then you look back, and then you never look over there again. So I'm like, okay, like I'm trying to remember my own tendencies. And I'm like, this is my first game. I'm also panicked. Like this is we're probably in the second <laughs> quarter. Like yeah. I'm rushed. Like Matthew, like he talks so fast. Like even though like I felt like we had gone through stuff, but like he's like uh, South Bay Clam, uh, 16 Wendy, uh, but ready break turbo set. Like, uh, You're like, oh, wait, wait, hold on. What? Hey, where <laughs> was the tag for me? Where's the tag yeah. for Puka? Like you didn't say Z do this, all right? Yeah. Yeah. Okay, so I'm like, all right, we're waving way too fast, but I'm going. Like I'm lined up, I'm like peeking the left side. And I'm like, all right, I can see him, Bob, but I can't see Bobby Wagner's eyes. And I'm like, all right, I just hope Bobby Wagner doesn't be the guy. Go and I like I look to the left. As soon as the ball snap, like um, my outside foot is up, so like I plan to go look. As soon as I like go this, this motion, like boom, face. like I'm on my back, like I'm like like my feet are up in the air, and I'm like looking back, and I'm like. Wait, what? Wait, wait, just, wait, wait. Boom, bounce on the floor like bounce on the floor <laughs> twice and look at the d tackle like make the tackle for loss like for like a four yard loss and i just remember be like damn what the coach coach happened? coach, what, <laughs> coach you, didn't, you, you didn't say this is gonna happen like yeah. where, where did where did you say that the defensive tackle is gonna come through the the b gap and just put you on your ass and i was just like <laughs> I, mean, I literally bounced on the turf like twice like my body hit it and then i bounced again and i skipped and, drilled and, I, watched on the him, and I watched him make the play and i was like mm. <laughs> That one's gonna be a tough one in the yes. film. Like when we're watching yeah. the film, that's not gonna go so Probably not on the call sheet anymore. Yeah. Bobby <laughs> Wagner. At least it was Bobby Wagner. It's like, hey, I oh, mean, gee. he gets everybody. Yeah. The dude's oh my a gosh. fucking one of the best to ever do it. One hundred percent. Easily. Feels Easily. Like a dude's tank. a savage, bro. Yes. Absolute savage. So obviously your rookie year, to pivot a little bit, your rookie year came in on the scene, set records, did incredible things. What's your focus this offseason? Obviously, you had a ton of success, but What's like the main things that you want to improve and think you can get a lot better at um, going into your second year? Improving in press coverage. I think that's something like uh, in this game, uh, in order to beat press coverage, to beat man to man, uh, yeah. like that's uh, a big part of the game and be able to get off the line of scrimmage against anybody and everybody um, in an efficient and timely manner. Yeah. Um, so lateral movement, I think that's like kind of been like a, a very big thing for me. And then I've lost, I've slimmed down a little bit from what I was, I was pretty heavy. I, like the game was physical <laughs> and I definitely feel like I played the game physical, but I yeah. feel like I could maybe lose a couple of pounds. I think I, last season I was, I was close to like 220 for most of the season. Damn, like I was, damn. I was up there. What like do you know? Uh, I'm probably around 210 right now. So just about uh, 10, uh, you feel good? 10 pounds. I feel a lot better. Like I've, trained, I've been training with Coop. Um, so it's been good. He's he's in a revenge tour. He's been able to get like a, a healthy yeah. off season and stuff. Yeah. So he he's back at it. I feel like watching myself at the beginning of the season and then watching myself at the end of the season is like two different people. Like at the bye, like yeah. we're like having like a break and be like, man, like just like evolving and going out through the season and learning things and just like in our off, like you just pick up on things. Remember, like we play you play certain teams twice. Like okay, these yeah. the, you have certain movements that win against this guy. How do I build upon that and stuff like that? So. Yeah. Um, being more um, mentally prepared in the game. I feel like last year I didn't play a lot of video games, so like I feel like that's the thing like I got to lock into again doing this year, but I love video games. Like, <laughs> I, would, like I, would just, I, would, I would spend that time at the facility and come back and be like, wow, I'm tired. I want to play video games, but I'm tired. Like, yeah. <laughs> I'm tired. Yeah. And then tired would always win. I just end up falling asleep. I had to get that's not a bad time. thing. Yeah. That's no, not yeah. a bad thing. I'm a video game. I play video games in yeah. every night. Yeah. Like, I'll, I'll get home late as shit, and I one 2k game at least right, right. just to kind of you know just get Until my mind the norma right. text right. yeah norma text off and then boom i'm back yeah. back upstairs but i feel that bro i mean you're in a, a unique position you have a great quarterback 
and you're taking full advantage of it. It's dope to see. You know, you have a lot of expectations, things like that. Um, what do you think is the next thing for you guys to take a next step as a team? You know, you guys, even before the season, people were writing y'all off. Um, you know, respectfully, I've seen it from far. They're like, damn, they lost. They're losing these guys. They can't pay. You know, they went all in for one Super Bowl, yeah. and now they got all these young guys and shit. What do you think is the next thing, you know, y'all need? Because, I mean, y'all took Detroit right down to the wire. Yeah. Um, what do you think you guys need, you know, to improve next season? Like, we got to take advantage of, I feel like, the weapons we got. We got Matthew Stafford. We got yeah. we got Cooper Cup. Uh, we got D-Rob. We signed back. Like, we got guys like Tutu. We signed uh, yeah. uh, a tight end. Uh, oh, yeah. Uh, Parkinson. Yep. Yeah, Cody yeah. Parkinson. Like, yeah. <clears throat> we got Kyron 2-3 in the back. Like, we've got both our running backs back. Like, yeah. I feel like we have an offense, like, who can be put up against, like, the – I guess the Chiefs offense, the Super Bowl winners. Like, I mm -hmm. think we're up there with the 49ers where we played those guys. Like, we played them in uh, week 18, obviously. It's like the extra week and stuff like that. But um, yeah. I feel like you, you feel like you, when you have somebody number, you feel like you kind of know. And it's like, it's like a, I guess, something that I wasn't aware of. We play them all the time. They're in our division and stuff like that. But like, yeah. when you just meant, like, beating somebody, like, it allows like a mental wall to be unlocked, a block, or like, it's just yeah. broken down. Yeah. Or something get like, over hey, that hump. Yeah, get yeah. over the hump. And I feel like when we did that, it was like, even though it was week 18, like, we won it with Carson Wentz. We won it. We won it. And like we won yeah. by one, like our Byron Young, our our, fr our rookie DN had a, like a, a strip sack to pretty much win yeah. the, seal the game yeah. for us. We won it in in um, wherever their freaking stadiums at in San Fran. But yeah, um, yeah. I just feel like Matthew. Well, I don't know how many years we're gonna have with him, so it's like we yeah. gotta strike while the iron's hot. While he's while he's still slinging yeah. and doing yeah. like he is. Like no we doubt. like our offense has gotta go crazy. I think that's just staying healthy. Like I think uh, this year, obviously not having Coop in those first five games, but then also figuring out how Kyron, we're going to use Kyron and our, or get our run game going. And then obviously just trying to make sure I can be as consistent as I can and uh, make sure I can make every play possible. Like this guy, I learned that I, I led the league in drops. So like, man, like ne never could that happen again, especially because yeah. like he just, I feel so terrible. He says like, he's, yeah. he's Is 40. Is that skewed though? Because you, how many targets did you get this year? Do you know? Mm. How to be close Percent. to 120 or 130. That's a lot. Yeah. But still, <laughs> I mean, it's crazy. That's a testament yeah. to y'all's culture too and McVay. You know, obviously, you guys deserve the credit, but having, I mean, Kobe Turner had what nine and a half, ten yeah, sacks a rookie. Sacks, yeah. Byron Young went crazy. He's, I think he yeah, he's, he's a yeah, baller. Had seven sacks. You're a fifth round pick. Came in, set every record. Um, Kyron Williams comes out of nowhere. He's I don't even baller. know where he was drafted. No. He went. Yeah, he, was he was a, a fifth all round pro. pick in the year before. Fifth round Balling. pick the year before, yeah. and is all pro. Like yeah. that shit's crazy, and that's important, and that's how teams stay consistent. Winners is having young guys and develop and come in right away and, and change it. And that's why the draft is so important. And you see the same teams are up at the top and the same teams are at the bottom. And yeah, it's, it's crazy, bro. Y'all are doing y'all doing some big things. Yeah. It's dope. Yeah. With number nine, I, I feel like we, we got a great thing. Sadly for the other teams, I think of the teams we get to play twice. Like, man, I would hate to be on the other side of that. Man, like, how do we, what do we do to like make him feel uncomfortable? But like, as seeing like somebody like get to watch like his weekly routine of like man this guy is tough as nails like he's gonna tough grind through every injury or any nick knack like he's gonna be yeah. out there no matter what like on Sunday like trust number nine to be out there and he's gonna give you everything you got yeah and so like and then like with him and like the mastermind like he's been in the league for so long he's seen so many different defenses he understands like, yeah. and then it's like the the new and then so it's like kind of like the basic of like what a, being a professional football player is, but then like the nuance of like, okay, how does this guy break down? Like how Coop doesn't break down the same way I do. Like D Rob, who's six, three, like two, two ten does or two Oh five. Like he doesn't move the same way I do either. Like, yeah. or the same way as Coop, like two, two out. Well, like guys like that. So it's like, then like the nuance of, of like, and especially like the change of every year, like this guy, number nine, like he does everything right. Like, he he's the man so he's nasty. we we got to take care yeah. of him d rob's a dog too i d -Rob. love d rob ah. he was he was with us he got cut by us that year and he ended up going to baltimore and balling out then he went to y'all the year after yeah d rob's cool as shit he's the man i, I love d rob, d -Rob. yeah he, his energy, energy is unmatched too yeah, Un oh. unmatched bro he, yeah, but his pattern movement that's why he loves to play basketball no, too no. and oh you my god you can tell bro like, he yes. carries the ball like this yeah and shit. Oh, all the time he's out like, there yeah. Freestyle, like, and one basketball. Yes. I've never seen anything like yeah. it. What no, do you think about uh, Devontae Adams, his game, his route running, getting off the line? 17, like, it's unreal. Like, Different. Flawless. Like, flawless. being able to, like, watch Coop. I, I think of, like, Coop in, like, somewhere, like, over there, like a slot, like a true slot guy who yes. but he's could do both. Yeah. Whereas, like, and then you see, like, 17 where he's out there on the outside and, like, you can put him anywhere and the same pattern movements like transition and like it's so flawless like it's it looks so smooth like that's like when you say like our 
form in the ra- in art in the form of route running, like it's number T-tip. seventeen. Like yeah, bro, that's, yeah. that's what he is. It's like one of one. Yeah. He's flowing, yeah. bro. And it's like, crazy. yeah, the basketball player, like he's out there, like it's like, okay, I got you. Now yeah. then it's like, yeah. oh, he's not and now I'm gone. And then it's like to be able to build off that, but then like I think the most important I think my favorite thing when I watch Devontae Adams is like the efficiency of like somebody where it's like, man, I think yeah. of like how I I look up myself at the beginning of the season and the end of the season where it's sure. like, man, I thought I improved so much where it's yeah. like I can like somebody where it's like Hey, like I'm going to beat you, and it's going to take the least amount of energy for me to beat you, but it's yeah. going to look absolutely like it's going to look beautiful. Like people, yeah. Are, yeah. let me get an ISO cam on this guy right here. Say, yeah. Yeah. I, I I just did this. I went one yeah. two at the top, and he's going this way, and I'm breaking Highlight back out. Real. I got you. Yeah. Like <laughs> no, that's yeah. the thing about Tay. He, it's so true. Like the efficient movement, he's never. It never looks like he's breaking. He's at one speed the whole time. Yeah, like it's literally just he's in flow state at all yeah. times, and it's so sudden. Like you can't. He wears the black visor too, and just yeah. he's like darting around the field, bro. He's he's special to watch, bro. He's insane. Yeah, and I think some a sleeper like with Devontae Adams, like obviously like run and great hands, but it's like him after the catch is also great. Like oh, I, like somebody like smooth. where it's like so smooth, still mm-hmm. like he like I just everything about it is fantastic, but it's just so it's so efficient and it just looks yeah. great because like it doesn't look like he's trying like to run hard. But it's like everybody you see, like you play in the league, like everybody's yeah. moving so fast out there, and to feel like that confidence and that rhythm, and like to have that pace around you the whole time is, it's otherworldly. It's like <laughs> fighting. It's like fighting. He gets people to overreact. I feel like because they know yes. how nasty he is, and his he has no wasted steps. So like he gets people to overreact, and he just gets them out of position. Now, obviously, leverage and all that stuff takes care of it too. But yeah, he makes people uncomfortable. Uncomfortable. Just, they're thinking yeah. about. Everything else Hard. besides their actual job, they forget what the fuck's going on because he's so much in his bag. Yes. But to pivot off that, I'm putting you on the spot. You can't include yourself. Who's your top five right now? Yes. Receivers in order, not including yourself. Ooh. Yeah. In order? Oh. In order. <laughs> I got to go Justin Jefferson, number one. Ooh. Um, uh, got to see Jamar Chase play this year, too. So I got Jamar Chase, number two. He's a dog. Um, dog, dog. We're both on the same team. Oh <laughs> it's yeah. insane. Which is wild. This. It's insane. Those, those insane. LSU That's not even like fair. Ridiculous. Burrow and then Burrow. Yeah. They were yeah. 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 lighting yeah. people yeah. up. Yeah. Um, so Jefferson, Jamar. Jamar. Chase. Uh, Tyree Kill, uh-huh. for sure. Three. Unreal. Three. Unreal. Um, Devontae Adams, for no matter what, he's out there. Mm-hmm. And I, Coop, I think every time Coop's out there, man, if it's not, if it's not Devontae Adams, I think it's Cooper Cup. Who's the most like underrated receiver in the league? Hmm. Um, Keenan Allen. He plays for you guys. Uh, 16. Jacoby. Jacoby. Yes, that's, that's a great fucking yes. answer, oh bro. Gosh. He's a dog. I love, I love watching his he's tape, man. Nasty. He's, he's, he's nasty and he's, he's a nice. dog. Yeah. He catches everything. 50-50 ball, anything in traffic, he's yeah. coming down with it. But his route running is underrated. I, I like I, watching him. I like wasn't him. aware of his game like that. Like He came in a joint practice the year before when he was in New England. Mm-hmm. This is in 2022. He came over there and they're talking about Jacoby Myers like this is their guy. But I'm like, I'm like, all right, like he's. I, I didn't know. Like I knew he was a good player, but I didn't know, bro. He was hooping out there, yeah. and then getting to see him in practice, some of his routes, bro. He's a taller guy. Like he's not a small, short, bro. He he cuts on a dime. Yes. He makes people look silly. He's. Jacoby's. Yeah. He was in the we, conversation every week for Dog of the Day. When every, we were during the season, yeah. we nominate like who who had the best game. Mm. He's in there every oh, single he, week. Yeah, every he's time. Be. Andy blocks. Yes. Yeah. Andy That's fucking puts Give him a little reverse and he'll yeah. make people miss. Man, yeah, he's like you. Yeah. It, it, receiver being like a complete receiver is something different, but then like that's what makes like being like a Devonte Adams, like a Cooper Cup, like that much more elite because like man. They just put me out here to run routes. Like, sure. hey, mm-hmm. they want, they know I'm out here because I can get open against you. I have every single one of y'all out here. Like, yeah, gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna get out here. They're gonna put the ball here, and I'm gonna get open. Like, no matter what, and it's yeah. gonna look fantastic. Like, no doubt. It's gonna look fantastic. That's like why it. it's crazy. Like, that's yeah. not everybody gets that luxury and that opportunity. Like, that's what makes the there's an elite group of to be in the NFL, and then there's a and then an elite elite group to be the best of the best. Like, sure. Yeah. yeah. It's yeah. it's you, when they're out there, it's a little different. Yeah. It looks different, feels different. Yeah. Sounds different. Mm-hmm. You can just tell it low key, and I think. This is a piggyback off the underrated. DJ Moore and Keenan Allen, are, I think, are both underrated Bro, as fuck. Those two together in Chicago, they get dog. the Jeez. right quarterback. That's going to be a 
problem. Yeah. So Those that's two good, are nasty. That's another good piggyback. Best duo receivers in the league. You can include you and Cooper. I mean, they got to yeah. be top well, two, yeah. three. Yeah. Well, I'm putting. Damn oh, now I gotta think. Now I gotta think of everybody. We'll just in the do league. top three. Yeah. You gotta think Tyreek and Waddle. They're up there. Yeah. Who else? Uh, Mario and Joku. Who'd you say? Adrian Brown and Devontae Smith. You say Amari Cooper and Joku? Yeah. Hey, that's a. Amari Cooper is is slept on for real. That's what I'm saying. He went all pro. He's nice. I think he was all pro this year. I know he's a pro. He's had like a thousand. No, Mike Evans is the easiest answer, I feel like, every time. But we're, I feel like we're people are the, over that though. Yeah, he was underrated for so long. Now over, it's like, yeah. oh, he's Hall of Famer. Yeah, like, yeah. like people thousand, finally thousand just gave him his like, flowers. They're like, yeah, he's a Hall of Famer. Yeah, and like, you, you can't deny it anymore. Yeah, like yeah. can't deny yes. it. Him and Devontae came in together. Yeah, just yeah. crazy. They're both, I mean, Hall of Famers. Yeah, yeah. Who else? Do else? AJ Brown, Devontae Smith's kind of a problem. Okay. Yeah, they're nice. Yep. AJ Brown's a fucking problem. AJ Brown's a problem. Shoot. Yeah, well, I got I got to put me and Coop up there for sure. With this yeah. guy, Matthew Stafford, back there. We <laughs> think we, we, we're going to give, we're going to give everybody a good mix up this year for sure. For sure. Um, yeah. There's a lot. Keenan man. Allen and DJ Moore. That's a, t that is nice. That's going to be interesting. That's I don't know. I feel like, see, now I'm, I'm feeling like a casual cool. football fan because I'm like, I don't know who else is in the league. Yeah. I, know. I know the guys on my team. Like <laughs> DK and Tyler Lockett are underrated. Yeah. They'll do well. They got uh, the young, uh, Jackson Smith and Jigba, too. Yeah, he's talented for sure. Um, yeah. Shoot, honestly, Green Bay, like, I'd like their receiving Young core. core. They got a young, young. Yeah. Devon, yes. uh, Devontae Wicks. Yeah. yeah. Is one of their receivers. He's a, I don't want to say he was fifth round, too. He's nice. He's from. Play from Virginia, like when I was other than like that was gonna be my other say, but he was a rookie too, so it's kind of hard to but, like yeah. for the underdog. But I was like, uh, what is it? The, the you guys, sixteen? Uh, Kobe, Kobe. Yeah, Kobe. Yeah. Kobe. Um, man, they they got a great duo. I mean, a, almost a trio over there. They got Jay yeah. Reed, Trey Tucker. All yeah. young. No, you're talking about us, yeah. But no, Green no. Bay, they got all young. Oh yeah. Like I didn't even Dub. know who they were at the beginning of the year. I couldn't name one receiver. By the end of the year, they're all fucking Facts. falling. Yeah, falling. Jordan Love is, he's, he's like yeah, that. Yeah. He can ball. Yeah. I got a yeah. question for you. Um, offensive Rookie of the Year. Obviously, CJ got it. Crazy special season. You also crazy special season. Um, did you think you were going to get it? Would you feel? And then, just your thoughts on that. Uh, I think so. I mean, I definitely thought it was like to, I knew it would be between me and CJ for sure. Yeah. Uh, but I mean, it's a to play quarterback in the NFL is a whole nother level. Like yeah. uh, the, yeah. the ability to do it as a rookie, to come in and to take that franchise to a place they yeah. hadn't been. Mm -hmm. um, Playoff so think, win. Yeah. I don't think anyone had them go in the playoff. He points to D. <laughs> Wait, who did they beat? I'm not doing this podcast. Oh, the Browns are about the Brownies. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. Start beeping me out. They didn't just beat them. Beeping me out. Smack, That's bro. my boy, Sue and Tucky Talk. He just barely left that. too, man. Yeah. Like, but I also have like a, Somewhat not as like a person personal vendetta like my brother's oh and sixteen Browns like where it's like, and then they let him go. It's like respectfully like, every time we see you guys like I gotta do you dirty like I gotta like I gotta do you so dirty. We had to make a change. You had to. I know one hundred percent. Respectfully like I I pray on the downfall. Yeah, it wasn't personal. That's right. Yeah, I took it personal. Yeah, I made it personal. That Jordan quote. That's the one Jordan quote I love. Like that little meme stuff. It's like so you were cheesing right after that that Browns game then. Oh, so hard. Like that that was. Unbelievable. I, well, first Jeez. I made it. Yeah, I hit a thousand yards, in that game, like, <laughs> and then we won. Like, yeah, and that, that so, that's where you broke a thousand. Yeah, broke a thousand. Yeah, like, um, on one run. Yeah, set the franchise record in that in that uh, uh, like my seventy yard touchdown it catch that game. Yeah, uh, but, personal. Yeah, I met this uh, met this BYU alumni, uh -huh. uh, and it was met his son like before the game. They're just kind of they have we have this on field suites in SoFi. Yeah. Met him before the game. They're in our end zone, kind of the pregame. I'm just like listening to music, and I see him. I'm like, hey, what's up? They were sitting like my girlfriend was gonna sit with them, uh, so I'm like meeting them before. I'm like, hey, what's up? Like, hopefully I'll see you later. Like, I'm gonna score. I'm gonna score a touchdown. Like, make sure you guys come see me. Mm -hmm. I scored a touchdown in that end zone. Like, this little kid, like I saw him not too long ago. Me and his uh, his dad met up and we went to dinner. It's like the kid that's got a screensaver of us. Like, we took a picture of the pregame. He's like, bro, I showed this to everybody. Like, you remember you told me you were gonna score a touchdown? And I scored in that end zone. Like, yeah. I went through the ball to my girlfriend and stuff. But like that was like that was like a surreal moment for me. But then also like, man, that's like 
I can't imagine that moment for him. Like, I'm glad yeah. I got to be a part That's of that. Like, so yeah. fun. That's dope. That's dope. The kid thought he was the shot. coolest kid in school. Probably, yeah. oh, so yeah. long. He's the probably still. Yeah. 100%. <laughs> Social status just boom. He's flexing. And that matters back no, no. in that age. Yeah. yeah. You got a t-shirt. <laughs> you know? Yeah. You're yeah. climbing yeah. through the ranks. Oh, 100%. Without 100%. 100%. Yeah, no doubt. Oh, well, yeah. the Browns were able to make that happen for you. No, I appreciate yeah. that. Yeah. <laughs> it was so funny. So I'm talking, talking, play with my brother at BYU, and okay. like he was the guy guarding me in that, like the play, oh, yeah. something like in the audible, Matthew Audible's, and I literally like remember looking like I'm running, and I'm like, I'm not gonna put my hands up because he knows the ball's coming, but I'm trusting that the ball's just gonna hit me in my chest. Like the same thing, like just trust Matthew. Yeah. Like I just went, just put my hands like here and never looked at the ball like all the way in. I was just like, I'm keep running, let it hit me in the chest, drop my hands and then I'll just keep running and it worked out. Like I just knew it was gonna hit me in the center of my chest, bro. (laughs) I want you to touch on this. Obviously you started at Washington. Yeah. So you transferred to BYU. (laughs) Yeah, you know, so you started at Washington and transferred to BYU. What uh, what was the reason for you um, doing the whole transfer thing? Yeah, my grandma was uh, diagnosed with ovarian cancer. Okay. I was uh, in Seattle during that COVID. I broke, redone my the my Jones fracture on my foot. So we played three games that COVID year. But uh, just to kind of go back to be with my family. I was in I was in Seattle during COVID, locked up. I had just done my foot for the second time. Like not a, yeah. not close to my family. My mom had called me. My grandma had been living with us since uh, we had moved to Utah. Yeah. Um, and then she was uh, my mom's only my my only grandparent on that side. Um, but then she had passed away in that 21 season when after I transferred to BYU. But to be closer to my family, it was it was such a weird thing. And then it just like for actually to work out at BYU, my brother, older, my older brother transferred with me at the same time. We both went back to BYU. He's a oh, grad sure. transfer at Utah. But we were trying to go to Utah. But BYU, being in the Pac-12, UW wasn't going to let me go to Utah. We played like it was like kind of like yeah. that's like a rival mm-hmm. game for yeah. them. Um, so it was able to work out to go to BYU. We were like, and that's like him going to Utah to BYU was also like a thing like, ah, but, yeah. um, my family had already played in at BYU. So it was just able to work out, but, uh, yeah, to be there for my family. That's dope. You like, you like BYU? I, those are my boys. Like it, it worked out. I like, uh, it was, it was definitely an interesting place. Like, uh, I'm growing up, I grew up in the church and stuff like that. Um, yeah. but like, uh, I also grew up in the church in Las Vegas. So it's like we'd go to church on Sunday and then we would drive by the casino in the strip club and be like, wait, what? <laughs> Is there ever, anybody ever in there in Vegas? Uh, the what? church in Vegas? I feel like that I mean, seems it's... Sin City. Right. <laughs> no, you know I mean? Yeah. On Sunday, yeah. You yeah, know, when everybody's more. sleeping. Uh, yeah. 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 That's, Someone has that. yeah. That's, That's like a one on one. Speaking yeah. of BYU, what's your uh what's your stance on soaking? <laughs> I'm not, nah, I don't know. Nah, nah, yeah, I don't have a stance. No, 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 stand. no soaking for me. Like, <laughs> that's, yeah, a no, thing, that's a real thing, though. Okay. Yeah. It's like, a real thing. Okay. There's there's some fun. there's some crazy stories. Like <laughs> people shake the bed. <laughs> they, yeah, like people got the jumpers. Like they, yeah, they the jumpers. The jumpers. What do you mean the jumpers? It's like, fine. Uh, I mean you're soaking. You yeah. Yeah. No, no hip. So uh-huh. movement yeah. and like you have somebody jump the bed, like shake, oh, the, yeah, bed. shake the bed. Jump. You can have shake the bed, jump the bed. So is there awesome. levels like <laughs> is everyone able to soak or do you have to shake to a certain extent yeah. before you soak? Is there a limit I know, to I don't, the jump? Yeah. Somebody who's not in that area, like in that, <laughs> yeah. uh, that expertise. You know, yeah. you know, the so I heard, did you ever go in the locker room and someone's like, I soaked so well last night? Like it was a topic of conversation. I don't know. It's probably something they don't like to converse, right? Yeah. It's like yeah. You keep that low key. You keep that in the soaking, the soaking circle for okay. sure. For sure. Hundred <laughs> percent. There's probably Hell different yeah. art forms. It's like <laughs> rushing, uh, uh, right. running. Yeah. yeah. Uh, Randall Ravis says, "Puka, how do you remain humble and focus after such a successful rookie season?" Shoot, I feel like there's so much I was unsuccessful in. I guess I feel like even the, in the, the success, like we obviously wanting team success more than anything. I was like to be in the NFL and try, try to win a Super Bowl is not easy, and that's like yeah. my main goal uh, is to win a Super Bowl in the team that I was drafted with with the Rams. So uh, that's uh, that's that's gonna keep me humble and, <laughs> and hungry all the time because it's not easy. You, we lost by one point this year. Like that's the. The margin for error is so small. We're going to go with El Bresnaham, 89. Uh, <laughs> if you had to play a different position, what would it be? Ooh. DN. Honest, uh, Back to your yeah. roots. Honestly, I, like I want to say I would play DN. I tell my coach like this all the time. Like, coach, I don't care if I think I, I know. I mean, I, I, to, I think I could play at my weight. Put me in on there, maybe third down. But I think third I could down. play the other downs. But you just like if we're going to ask, if we're going to run the ball, 
somebody has to be on like you have to have the back group yeah. like, no, like, I'm gonna win like I, it's gonna be like a pass rush for me every time yes, like yes. no matter what I'm just yeah. gonna give up give my release yeah. like my low shoulder is like uh, I think would be great like no like no chance I'd do that like Talks the running the on the ground like thing yeah. like oh, that's what I do like, <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I like that uh, yeah. but I would love to play that oh my gosh like a three to, four to outside sack, back or speed rush or type oh yeah let me drop into covers in the flat like when these quarterbacks are getting sacked and like just guard a lot running back so that's a dream come true, right? Evan, oh Evan Lloyd Anslow <laughs> says, <laughs> who would win in a dunk yes. contest, Puka or Max? Ooh. Wait, do we got some highlights? Can I see you throwing Ooh. the... Yeah. Somebody's got to have highlights Can we of throw Max that? throwing yeah. it yeah. Right? Pull that on phone. I'm gonna, yes, I'm gonna go say no, Max. Yeah. Yeah, that's, that's my my dunk idea. bag, I know is not that crazy. I think I can dunk. Like I'll throw it down as aggressively as I can. Like yeah. I got a couple. I can throw a windmill down. I'll get a couple off the backboard. Yeah. But yeah, uh, we'll if you're if that. you're throwing it, if you're dunking at your size and you're getting up and you have highlights up on YouTube, I I respect. <laughs> I don't have any dunk highlights on YouTube, so you do not. Yeah, Max, what yeah. celebrity game? Oh, celebrity game. Yeah, celebrity game. And you had more than one, right? In there. In the yeah, yeah. but yeah, you can boom it. I think the aggressive dunks. I'm, I'm, I'm on that ah, kind of way. Just yeah, walking, yeah. banging like, out, slapping exactly. the glass, exactly. and screaming. Yeah. The Russell Westbrook type shit. That, yeah. yes. I hate when I the, what bothered me more than anything is like the mellow. You get a breakaway and just like barely dunk it. Yeah, like, like, yeah, like yeah. like I want to see yeah. the rim be. So you love when LeBron goes down because he's like last night. I was. You see me? You did. You stood up. Yes. You don't have a tattoo. You plan on getting any? I'm not sure. Big tribal or something. That's the That would be tough. I would always be thinking, I'm like, I'm small. Like, I'm not, I don't have like a super like muscular build. I just don't know if like the tattoo, like if I get a tribal, I wanted like, I want to be like, it looks like the rocks. Like that dude's freaking react and you see that dude, you're like, damn. Yeah, honestly. It's not happening on my biceps. Yeah, when I first started getting tats, I was like, I was skinny as hell when I, especially at college and when I first got in the league. And I low key, I was like, I want to get tattoos so I don't look so skinny because i used to get one clowned forever. rich basaccia and my my rookie age, or in marinelli same thing they always used to clown me like you're, you're gonna wear sleeves like it's embarrassing like you're on i'm like fuck you I'm like fuck, fuck you so you. i was like i sleeved up I'm like yeah put a little weight on yeah like it looked like the, the smaller white dwayne the rock johnson you know yeah <laughs> so, so, so who's winning the bag. dunk contest i give it to max you got max all right yeah. um last one I'm not gonna fight it yeah <laughs> El Bresnahan's back again, but El Bresnahan says, <laughs> who's the best uh, DB you played against? I thought Stefan Gilmore. That's like, I thought that was like the fine balance of like Marcus Peters where I never, didn't feel like he was like physically not capable there anymore, but he was playing a lot. Like he was like pre-aligning himself where I guess it was like, um, Stefan Gilmore was quick, but he had the physical ability to run too. Yeah. Right? He was like, yeah. he knew what I was doing, but then he would also like, he wasn't guessing as much. He would still play true to, I guess, yeah. what I was mm -hmm. doing. So yeah. that's how Marcus made his money. Like yeah. he but literally his anticipation and so, you know, obviously people have their opinions and things like that. But Marcus, I mean, One for best, eight so. year stretch, has had more pick sixes and yes. interceptions than anybody. Yeah. Yeah. That dude would and, see it from yeah. a mile away. We had one versus Detroit and at Ford Field, y'all were mm -hmm. y'all yeah. were all there. Yeah. He just talking uh, shit. Jared Goff kind of rolled out, threw it out to the flat. He saw from a mile away he could have had like, like, like 80 yards no, yeah, yeah this year he just oh, dropped, he dropped a few he was already yeah. running he would have had four the legitimate instinctually four. it's yeah. different yeah he's yeah, on he's mm -hmm. he's on that shit he's a he's a student of the game yeah. that's what people sleep on marcus about like you were talking about like yeah pre-alignments yeah. doing shit that you're just like what the f yeah he's 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 a really smart football player talk right. to him so i'm just gonna hit you with a few things this or that here we go sweet win one of them national championship or super bowl super bowl Hell He's no. LA, no, no yeah. LA or Vegas? Vegas. Vegas. Yes. <laughs> Always Vegas. Future Raider, baby. <laughs> Future Raider, you heard it, America. Vegas. Yes. You, Luka, you as a receiver have more success versus which of the following? Press coverage or soft man coverage? Oh, wait, sorry, I missed the question. You're you're most successful as a receiver oh, against yeah. press man coverage or soft man coverage? 
Oh, uh, press man coverage. Favorite sport outside to be drafted at as a professional athlete minus football? <sighs> baseball, for sure. Sh- uh, no. Baseball, for sure. Give money. me that money. Give me that different. I would love to be the number one draft pick but in the NBA, but man, <laughs> my, my <laughs> family. You got, they're signing Decent for five hundred million. Too, they're signing for five hundred million dollars, yeah. like well, hundreds times. of millions. Decent money though in the NBA too. Oh, no, I mean, NBA, yeah. they're getting paid. I mean, yeah, they're getting paid. And it's more players league. Yeah, baseball. I mean, they're making crazy. Yeah. I mean, money. think you're a pitcher in the MLB. You play one night a week, bro. Go golf. That's it. Come bro, back. They're making all that money, and the people that are like, paying all that money to watch them are sleeping in the stands, anyways. Yeah, it's so gosh, boring. It's like let, let me come out there, throw a couple ninety fives at you. And then Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, I'm gonna be chilling in the clubhouse. Like, yes, one hundred. And you're gonna pay me. That's you're gonna pay line. me five hundred. Being yep. an elite Woo. pitcher might be the number one occupation yeah. in America. That's yeah. right. Matthew always talks about. He's like, man, I should have done that. I was like, hey, you wouldn't be right here. That's for sure. You'd be yeah. posted up yeah. somewhere Word. in Cuba or somewhere sure, ready. Yeah. yeah. Right. <laughs> Speak in Vegas. Blackjack, roulette, or craps? Can I say Baccarat? Yeah. Ooh. Baccarat. Just explain to us. Please. Yeah. Like, yeah why, give why us a break It's like the house oh, edge. Or you, you as a player have the best odds, correct? Yeah. 50-50 Baccarat. Baccarat. Um, I'm, I guess I'm not – I don't know exactly what the line is, but you get to draw a third card uh, depending on what the player the banker has. But I'm a, I roll with banker most of the time. But kind of see how the run goes. I just think it's easy. I don't got to – I'm not – I have to do no math. I'm not waiting for somebody else at the other table. Hey, don't take this card because the dealer needs to hit yeah, it. Like, yeah, yeah. screw it all it's, up. It's, yeah. yeah, it's Word. easy. There's no real kind of influence you have on the cards. Okay. But. I've never played boxing. Me either. I want to learn. I want to learn. He's talking about he this the last easy. couple yeah. weeks. Yeah, 50-50. I, I like that. Cool if I, I can hit, hit, hit a quick story. I, mean, yeah, yeah, I, I, got, I, got, I got an Uncle Dana story. Yes. Yeah, Uncle Dana, we were up at Red Rock not too long ago. We were gambling. We He were playing blackjack. Not doing not too great. Switch over to the Baccarat. Uncle Dana doesn't really, you know, he's blackjack. Like, yeah, absolutely every religious soul about it. murders yeah. everybody in blackjack. Yeah. Tell us, t- like, tells everybody how to win. I'm like, hey, you want to, you ever play Baccarat? He's like, no, not really. I'm like, okay, like, set us up, let us, set us up for us. I'm like, hey, let us, let us play the free hand. You can get a free hand. You can watch, kind of see how the patterns go. They showed up on the thing. And I'm like, uh, let's not, we don't, we won't bet the first one. He's like, oh, I'll bet the first one. We lose the first five hands. I brought Big Dana over to the table. We're down significantly in the first five hands. Mm-hmm. I'm not down. Not, 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 let me not. We're not. We're Uncle Dana's down Dana's significantly, down. <laughs> significantly like in the motherfuck. first five hands. And I'm just. It's just me and Uncle Dana playing. Like, yeah. and I'm like. <laughs> I'm Silent. so sorry. I invited you to play. <laughs> like, why? This other guy's like, hey, just play two more. We are. We figure out the streak ends up going two player, two banker. We ended up. We end up com- making a comeback, and w- Uncle Dana ends up winning and uh, having a great time. But oh, I yeah. just remember thinking, like, the I will never hands, ever like, say no anything him, to have him ever again. Like, it was, <laughs> it was right, terrifying. Yeah, I was like, yeah. But Baccarat is nice. I like it. It's, it, it's less stressful, I yeah. think. Hell yeah. We're going to have to play that. We yeah, need we need to learn. Yeah. Yeah. Anything that's going to put us in the green. Yeah. Because, yeah. God, we're red right we're now. We're red. Yeah. For sure. All right. Income's equal. You have to give up one. Football or video games? So like the income does not matter. It's the side factor. You have to give up one forever. Ooh. Football or video games? So you're a big um gamer. Oh. For the rest of your life. Wait, so how do I answer this correctly? Wait, what? <laughs> so you're making the same amount of money. That's so like, what yeah, you're saying. Like yes. Money's like irrelevant. Yeah, you but have one to of give them you can't one ever forever. do again. Oh, I want to play football. I don't want to play video games. Okay. Yeah. 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 I'm then, glad you answered that. And then last one. Yeah. I was confused. Guys. I, was I was like, wait, very... I was going to, I was like, I, I don't want to say video games. Like, <laughs> fuck it. I'm playing there's, games. No, there's nothing, <laughs> better, there's nothing better. 